I'm John Gormley. Good to have you here. Welcome. Thanks for checking in. Uh, before we leave you today, saw an interesting piece by Tracy Weiland, who uh, her latest book is Employed for Life, 21st Century Career Trends. Uh, she's done a lot of corporate speaking, and she's on tour traveling and talking on 21st century careers. So what are the hiring trends and the predictions for employment opportunities in 2016? Well, in large part, it's going to depend where you are, but there are some bigger North America-wide and global trends that deal with demography. You remember the old expression that demography explains pretty well everything. The world, security, other concerns. We find Tracy Weiland at her home base in the San Francisco area today. Hey, good to have you by. Oh, thank you, John. Thanks for having me. And walk me through a little how we're seeing a changing world looking ahead on the on the employment front. Sure. So, you know, I think it's important that you, that we understand that there are traditional organizations and companies that we look to for jobs in our in our home and our neighborhood. But at the same time, we also live in a digital world. And so I think it's important that, that we tap into the news and watch the trends so that we understand where job creation is going in the future as well. Because sometimes the jobs that we think of may not be in our local area or it may be something that's actually developing. Good point. So things like, I'm thinking even on the security front, as that's changing and that's still something people can do digitally. That's right. So actually, security is, is one of my um, predictions for 2016. And again, if you're watching the news, every single day there's another headline in security. And when you see something as repetitive as that, you know that people are going to take action, and that's going to create jobs. And the big three areas I see in security is obviously counterterrorism. And, um, and that is a $61 billion global market by 2024. And it, cross, you know, it crosses multiple disciplines. It's not just about um, police forces, but it also includes people who you know, can do bomb detection or nuclear experts or biological and chemical weapons specialists. So there's multiple jobs that will come out of that. And in addition, uh, the local areas will, will take it into their own hands. So for example, in New York, they have already created a counterterrorism squad, and I think we're going to see many cities across North America start to develop these kinds of new positions that didn't exist before. Tracy Weiland is with us. She's on a corporate speaking tour on the 21st century career. Now, you mentioned something called the senior sensation. What does that mean? Yes, and actually uh, in Canada, in particular, you're experiencing it even more than us in the United States and North America that um, there are actually more people over the age of 65 in Canada than under the age of 15. So we are aging globally. And that actually has created a $7.1 trillion business globally. Um, and that, to me, signals to us that there are going to be jobs associated with it. And as we age, what's interesting also is that it's very horizontal in terms of, you know, age qualification. Anyone at any age can, can really start Start to look at that segment as a potential job creation, uh, whether it's for where we'll, we will live at different ages in our life, you know, how we keep ourselves healthy, wellness, where we spend our time. Um, and I think this is a big opportunity for people who are either in transition or looking for a future opportunity for jobs. Tracy Weiland is with us. Her latest book is Employed for Life, 21st Century Career Trends. So plus services, what are those? Well, so this is where I look at, you know, a lot of people immediately think of, as we get older, uh, it's all about health care. And it is. And that is a big em employment opportunity for people. But there's more. And here are some of the plus things. If you think about um, age, and actually age is being bracketed into market segments, if you can imagine that. Um, the 65 to 74-year-old is segmented as the young old. The 74 to 84 year old is segmented as the old. And the oldest old is 85 plus and happens to be one of the fastest growing segments. So actually there's different kinds of needs and services by each segment. So for example, where do you live? Well, adult communities are on growth. 50 plus, 60 plus, 70 plus. But so are assisted living, which is for someone who is older but needs medical services. And then the third segment of living is really a lot of people would prefer to live at home through their senior years, so they are increasingly needing in-home services. 
whether it's, you know, modifying the house for aging to dog walkers to food services to home health aides. And so these are some of the plus services that I think people don't naturally think about when we talk about, you know, the senior sensation or the silver tsunami, some people call it as well. And even on, as you say, the segmenting, I was reading an investment piece recently where they talked about the three stages of seniorhood is go, go, go slow and no go. Right. (laughs) And I thought that was kind of neat because in terms of mobility, adventure, you know, being adventurous, traveling, there is a segment of seniors who, I guess, as the uh, as the demography begins to expand in that area, they're going to be spending a lot of money and needing a lot of services and goods because they're going to be more active. Absolutely, and I attribute this to the to the baby boomers. I think the baby boomers have really recreated retirement on their own terms. And when when you're not working 40 hours a week or whatever you work, you have more time. And the baby boomers is the generation that is showing us that you can use your time and and have it have fun using your time. Quite frankly, so they are traveling more, and they're actually even spending more than other generations when they travel. They travel both domestically here in North America, but they also travel abroad. This creates jobs, whether it's tourism jobs, hospitality jobs, restaurant jobs, transportation jobs. And so, as we look as our baby boomers driving this trend of retirement and how they spend their time differently, look at it also as job creation for yourself. Dr. Tracy Weiland with us in the San Francisco area. Uh, Her latest book, Employed for Life, 21st Century Career Trends. You can find her. The name is Tracy, and that's E-Y, Weiland, W-I-L.